Yes, the uh, drug, the drug. <laughs> that was, we'll cut that bit out. <laughs> no, 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 that's staying in. The drug of drugs. <laughs> the drug drug is real. Yeah, the drug addiction is real. <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. Hello, welcome to the video. Something a little bit different today because we are with Andrea. I thought we'd come and have a look at the stuff you're listing and you could tell us what you're up to. You'll have to excuse the washing machine in the background if you can hear that. <laughs> what are you up to? Um, well, I'm listing. Uh, this is all already listed. I've just got to find homes for it. All of this stuff? Yeah, that's just that just needs custom labels and I need to find drawers and shelves to put that on. Um, this is what I pulled out to list today. So some of it you'll recognise from some of our videos, like the Jersey Pottery stuff. Um, this came from the same stall as well, this pair of plates. This is what I picked up in the charity shop. I've got a really cute little Victoria Plum, which we found in a charity shop. Um, yeah, I've discovered that vintage soap is actually worth listing. Bought that actually to use for ourselves but it's a sealed pack never been opened I thought it might be a nice little Christmas stocking filler um, and I've also got a box of jewellery that I'm going through that I've been collecting but putting off so that's me um, this isn't my office obviously that's in there <laughs> that's in there it's in a bit of a mess and it's actually nicer to work here to be honest um, so the tack creep is real. <laughs> okay, so this is listed. This is um, a vintage Arabia teapot. Um, it's quite sought after. It's a designer. Um, I'll have to refer to my notes. <laughs> um, Anya Yatin, I can't even pronounce it. Somebody. <laughs> Anya Yatin and Winquist. Someone made this, they're called Anya. <laughs> anyway, she's quite sought after and collected. So I've actually listed this for 50 pounds. 50? Yeah. Whether I get it or not, another thing, but I've listed it for 50 pounds. Where did we get that? Um, we bought that at a jumble trail. I paid two pound for it. So, yeah. Cool. That's really cool. And? Those are from a jumble trail as well. I think we paid two pounds on those. They've sold once. And then we had, a, after chasing, had a message saying, um, I can't buy these right now, just that. So they've got a unpaid item case on, um, so which is they, frustrating. What are these then? Um, they are now found out, well, obviously I found it out because I listed them. Um, what does it say on the bottom? PT. Present time. Oh, what, they're like, um, du in... Dutch, I think, maybe, or no, I can't remember. <laughs> okay. Anyway, they're present time. Um, what, like in listed. Christmas presents? That, well, that's the name of the company, present time. Okay. <laughs> um, careful. Yeah, well, this is um, the vase that we picked up at Jumble Trail and we featured in that. I've listed that for thirty pounds with offers. Cool. Um, yeah. So not much else to say about that really. Um, Polish. Alicia. Yeah, Polish glass, art glass vase. What are these? Hang on. One-handed. <laughs> well, they are obviously Disney. <laughs> um, they are vintage Euro Disney. Not even Disneyland Paris, Euro Disney. Um, you can see on Donald's foot. Oh. So they are early 90s. Um, they probably would have issued them in like a little bag or something. Like, you know, you can buy little packs of things in the gift shop. So, yeah, I've listed those. I think they're on at £10 maybe. Um, no, 12 99 with offers, but I think think that I've lowered it to 10 pounds. So. Cool. Um, 
And yeah, this one's quite a find. I remember we bought this at the Jumble Trail at the same time as we bought this teapot. And you said to me, who's going to want old perfume? Did I? And you, did you did. I really? You did. And I knew because it's Dior and it's June, which is the classic, um, <laughs> that that would be worth picking up. I can't remember what I paid. Pound, maybe? Yeah, one or, or two. Like it that. wasn't yeah, much. Yeah, it wasn't much at all. And you were kind of sceptical about it. And one sold on bids, sealed like this one, for £72. So it's on at £75 on Buy It Now with offers. Wow. Yeah. It's collectible. <laughs> Whether we sell it for that much is, you know... Oh. Here's another matter. Andrea's tiny jugs. Andrea's tiny jugs. Yes, the uh, drug, the drug? <laughs> that was, we'll cut that bit out. <laughs> no, 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 that's staying in. The drug of jugs. <laughs> the jug drug is real. Yeah, the drug addiction is real. <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. Freudian slip. So what are these? Um, they're little jugs. <laughs> yes, I know they're jug little jugs. What's this one? That's Surrey Ceramics. This one is Cantium Pro Pottery. Cantium is Kent, isn't it? So I'm not sure if it's Kent Pottery or if there's a company called Cantium. Cantium? I couldn't find I a lot when I researched it, but it's mid-century. It's really lovely, actually. It's very nice. Like um, it's kind of my style. This one isn't so much my style, but it is um, Wood and Sons and it's the Clavelli pattern. So anybody who has a collection of that and needs a jug, you know. Is that a gravy boat? It's one of those sort of replacement finds. Right. Um, sauce jug, that kind of thing. Right. Might even, you could, I mean, you could use it for anything. Milk, cream. Gravy. Yeah, I mean, you could, but it would be gravy for one. It's tiny. <laughs> and what about these? These are vintage brass candlesticks with a barley twist. Um, see the markings on the bottom and they're quite light. No, so, no, I can't see the markings. No, on this one you can. Oh, I can see an N. Yeah. Okay. How much are they on for? Um, I've got them on for £25 with offers. Wow. Do you remember where we got those? Jumble trail, I imagine, because that's mostly what we've done this year. <laughs> um, what else do you want to talk about? What's this? That is a letter rack. Um, it's made in Indonesia. Uh, vintage again. And yeah, I've got that on at 15 with offers. Cool. Uh, one more? This is kind of, I don't know, I'm not sure what the marking is what the maker is um but i picked it up because it's nice it's a little storage jar vintage if um, anybody knows studio pottery um if anybody knows what that is i've like done the the google photo search nothing came up for it and done a, a little bit of research online couldn't find that maker so I can't remember what I went for in the end. I just, um, yeah, it's not here. <laughs> okay. Oh, hang and on. Then... No, it is. I went for twelve twelve ninety nine with offers. Okay. Oh, no. And then you mentioned the jersey stuff. What have you found out value wise on these? I haven't researched them yet. Oh. So sorry, can't help you out there. <laughs> Work in progress. <laughs> Yeah, this is the stuff I'm doing today, so yeah, haven't haven't looked at those yet. Yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Um and I'm just really enjoying listing that kind of thing. It's a bit quicker than clothes, you don't have to steam it. <laughs> and yeah, I listed some clothes the other day and realised and appreciated how much longer it takes with all the item specifics, all the prep work. And with this, I can just pick something out of a box. It does need a wash, but that doesn't take very long at all. And I can just quickly research and then list, and it takes so little time compared to clothes. 
Um, and also I'm loving it. I just, I'm passionate about this stuff. I'm really enjoying it. So, yeah. Good stuff. We will, we will link another video with Andrea in somewhere up here, pointing up here somewhere, somewhere like that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed that bye